Yes, my name is Royam, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... I was about to say that. That's my rhyme. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh... Uh... Stop interrupting me! I almost have it! Ah! Him, the mayor? Don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Good. Very good. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Ha! Ah, you wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Ah, you are good. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Stop interrupting my poetry! Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... cooked. I was about to say that! It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. Construction is on schedule. Of course it is. I'm the best there is in this construction. Line of employment? Game Master's Beard, what are you doing up here, kid? What are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. 
It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look, we're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their... body mass, metaphorically. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word. Greatest male individual. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Trade your cards. I know you too.
Oops, my bad. Mind went to a dark place there. <laughs> this is what actually happened.
Oma's Grace! I was pinned down by those... those vile machines. But now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Even? Afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named a Little Joe. Oh, you'd remember. Looks just like me, only he's a jerk. I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister! So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. Oh, I was, for sure. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong. And I know he knows it, too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double-length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album. Croon, that, that's a nice poetic word. Hey again, even. You, you've been keeping safe, yeah? Well, that's our mayor. Well, part of him, anyway. Royam's been the driving force behind this, you know, implementing the Queen's orders. I don't trust the man, but orders are orders, and uh, everyone who's questioned Royam has, uh, well, let's just say we're all afraid of heights. You're the first kid I've seen here on uh, what, again, I feel I must stress is an active construction site. You'd better be, kid. Be safe out there, even. I mean it. You're on a construction site. Come on, get going. Before my other side pitches in on what to do about you.
A feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet? You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Blue. Now half price every second Tuesday. Huh. Spiritual bouquet. It's a nice turn of phrase. There. Even had all the materials she needed to face Royam in a battle of rhymes. But did she have the skill? Well, there was only one way to find out. Sleeve in my chest, up my nose, up me. Well, everywhere. Let's trade. She wasn't sure if she was ready, but on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, even. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. Oh no, you're clearly not ready yet. So, you want to try this again? Very well. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. Perfect, yes. Let us begin. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon to look forward to everything the mayor doth. No, 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 that's horrible. That rhymes, but I hate it. We're done here. So, you want to try this again? Very well. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. Yes, oh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon to look forward to everything the mayor doth. Yes! There's no rule that says a poem can't talk up the poet some. Well done! Now, last verse. 
And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a... Such perfect rhymes for a perfect moon. I think, I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a boon. Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. Oh, but of course, I promise you I will dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their... body mass, metaphorically. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. Oh, beautiful, I guess, in its own sort of strange way. Razor stakes with a new card! Manny's got what you need. So this was the famed second moon, Mayor Royam's masterpiece. It was actually kind of a trap.
The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Opening has been opened. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance.
The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance. The playing piece may advance! The playing piece has broken the wall.
playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. The bridge is down. Incoming bombers!
piece has broken through the wall. See, even had a feeling she had broken the moon, and that somehow Mayor Royam wasn't too happy about that. Oh, feeling confirmed. Even what did you do? At one moment, Royam was a part of me, overseeing the construction. And in the next, he'd torn himself free and went off howling at the moon. There's no saying what he's capable of now that he's free from my influence. You taught him to rhyme? Oh no, there's no telling what he'll do now. Be very careful, even. I don't know what happens next. We're in uncharted territory here. Whatever you do, be careful. Your house of cards will never fall down when you... with Manny's help.
Oh, hello there, even, you little monster. Royam. You come here into a town full of strangers, and the first thing you do is destroy my beautiful moon. Oh, even, you've made me very angry. Look, if you'll just give me the eyes, I'll... Oh, these eyes? You want me to give them to you? I'm not giving you anything, child. But you promised! When I gave you rhymes, you said I earned them. And oh, you have earned something. Take a deep breath, even, because it's the last thing you'll ever take from anyone. <laughs> Foolish little girl, you're going to lose because I rhyme tight when I follow my... <laughs> personified force of creativity? No, Muse! I was gonna say Muse! Stop robbing me of my rhymes before I get to them! Only I may ride this lyrical flow, got it? Russia! My robots will reduce your skin to gelatin, leaving nothing but a gleaming white. Uh... If my rhymes were deadly, you'd be invincible, Ryan. All right, time to rhyme battle. I hope your loved ones are ready to cry, because in a few moments you're going to... Dang it, that is good!
I hope people will think you're too shoddy when they discover that you're a dead... Uh... Body! You're embarrassing yourself! Handle this one. You thought you were a knight, but you're a knave, and I'm gonna send you to an early, uh, early death hole. I was getting there. I was gonna get there in one second.
just an annoying butt, and my robots are gonna tear out your guts. Yes, your guts. <laughs> This is the rhyme that's going to end your time here in Random. My parents wanted me to be a goat herder, but I'd much rather be an even... Uh... Silence! I was going to think of that eventually! I'll try to not let it go to my head that I am the reason who soon be dressed in beans. Dead! How are you so bad at this? I hope people won't think you're too shoddy when they discover that you're a dead...
the colossal and terrifying upside-down mayor was now stored inside a different and nicer mayor's head. Even and Dicey had done an excellent job, and I was doing an excellent job narrating it. Not that they'd ever realize. Even was learning the world was even stranger and more threatening than in the stories her mother told her. But she was also learning that she didn't have to face it completely alone. he had to do was return the eyes to see more. With his vision restored, he'd be able to give Dicey his third pip, which would be all they needed to open that infernal, mysterious gate to Three Town. They'd made it. Even in Dicey had survived, and what's more, defeated Royam, the dark side of the mayor. But the journey was far from over. Sorry, I, I'll be quiet now. Yeah, I just get so carried away sometimes. It, it's just so exciting being a storyteller, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I'll be quiet. It is good to be whole once again. Because he's a part of me. If you cut off a limb, you'd want it back too, wouldn't you? Furthermore, I think I've learned mediocre poetry. Thank you for your help, even. Without him, I'm not the same. But with him, I'm accomplished. He says hello, by the way, even. He says he hopes to see you again, very soon.
we move forward as a united city, there's more than one path ahead of us. But the people of this great town have always been good at dealing with multiplicity. As time goes forward, we'll all merge back together. We'll still have split personalities, but that's an advantage. Everyone has a better half. Every half can do something the other can't. Every half helps the other half out. It's the two-town way. It's been a very strange time for us here too, even. But in saving us, you become an inextricable part of that. Wherever you go, a small part of Two Town now goes with you. And strange is good. Goodbye, even. You will always have my thanks. And so, even went to give... Seymour his eyes back. I'm positive he was dying to make eye contact with his pupils once again. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Oh dear. These are terrible. I'll edit them out later. Well, have you gotten the ingredients yet? Oh, it's uh, no good without all three. Uh, go find more, please. I need all of them. It's logical for you to do so. For me, obviously. What happened? I heard a ruckus. Long story. But I've got your eyes, Seymour. Oh, my peepers and weepers. Oh, I've missed you so much. <laughs> oh. Ah, much better. <laughs> and as for those pips, if you don't mind, it just takes a little precision, the utmost finesse, and... <laughs> Done! Good as new, little buddy! Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for helping me properly see you again. I mean, I suppose I could. There is room for more. All over random there are mythical creatures hiding from the clutches of the queen. Difficult to find, but they may have some. Keep your eyes peeled, and senses even sharper, even. Oh, and remember, all this dice business? Shh, it's our secret. So, what are you gonna do now?
I know you'll find her even. You found my eyes. They're probably way smaller than your sister, right? Oh, pfft. you'll do fine. <laughs> in fact, I'll go so far to say that there's not a way in Sixtopia or Onecroft that you'll fail. Unless, you know, the queen gets in your way. Nothing a bit of good old-fashioned runaway won't solve. Well, I wish you well on your next adventure. And uh, if I could give you some semi-solicited advice... Every roll of the dice matters. But not every roll counts. Isn't it, though? It's <laughs> so fun. Bye, even. I'll miss you. But I'm sure we'll see each other again in far-off places. to enter the land of three. Who knew what adventures awaited her there? The answer is me. I do. I'm the narrator. But for even and Dicey, the adventure was just beginning. And even sister was still out there, somewhere, lost in random. Home, I guess. night. They were the collectors of children who were to become Sixers. Come on, Dicey! We can't let it get away! Hurry! She's in our sights! Not today, spider monster! Mm -hmm. 
I always knew I was a sixer at heart. I knew! I'll do all sorts of important work for the Queen while Bernard mops the floor. Uh, hey, where is Bernie? <gasps> Bernard is gone! <laughs> a sixer child is missing! I repeat. <laughs> We should help him. He'll be eaten alive out here. Mm, the spider seemed impossible to get into at the moment. Oh, but perhaps Bernie would know how to get to her sister. Even knew. Come on, we've got to find him. Oh, yes, yes. Time was of the essence. I was done anyway. itself apart in a three-way civil war. A murdered father, three siblings, each suspecting the other of the deed. And a giant battle droid, given to each by the Queen to settle the matter. Protect the king! He's in danger! We have to... have to... 